Crafty Babes. It's Andrea. Today I want to show you a quick tutorial on using my weekly memory keeping templates that are available in my shop because some of you have been asking just how to use the templates. You're not very familiar with Photoshop or InDesign. If you have it, maybe you haven't used it enough to know um, quick ways um, to use these templates for the weekly memory keeping like memory planning templates that um, a few of us have been diving into this year. So really quick, we're gonna start with InDesign. And the things that I have open are the weekly photo template here, and it's blank. And then I also have my print folder in my Finder. So I use a Mac, but in a PC, it would be your Explore window. I keep an entire folder full of the edited photos that I'm going to use. And then I can just quickly bring them over. Um, this will be more important in Photoshop, but in InDesign, the command that we're going to use, uh, and I will put this on the screen for both uh, Mac and PC, but for, I'm, I'm only going to be able to verbalize the command for, um, for Macs. So uh, command D is, it basically opens up a window for you to, you know, insert things into. So I'm going to then navigate. And then once you do this one time, it will remember the folder that you went to. So for me, the easiest way is to show the icon so that I can actually see the photo. And what I do is um, in this scenario, I'm going to do all of my vertical three by fours first. So all you do is double click and then the photo just pops right in there and you double click on the next um, next cell. And then I'm just going to go do the next three by four. And you just keep doing that until you get it completely filled up. One thing that you can do prior to inserting your photos is if you have an idea of the number of photos, you can actually right click on this pages tab over here and do duplicate spread. And that way, uh, you would want to do that before you put any photos in so that you didn't have to go delete a bunch of photos. Um, but sometimes I will, I will forget to do that. And then I have to go delete the photos from the second one. But that is how to insert photos into the InDesign template. And then from here, I always print from a PDF. So here I do not print directly from InDesign. I've just discovered uh, over the years that my computer and printer combination prints best from a PDF. So everything I print is from a PDF. So here I'm just going to go to high quality print in my PDF presets, and then I'm going to save it. Hopefully it's in the right place. Yeah. So 2020 January print, I'm going to end up saving it like these are listed here. So if, if this was a new set of photos, I would save it as January print underscore five. I would just go to the next number. And then from there, I would print it out of, out of PDF, out of Adobe Acrobat. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. This next part is going to be how to insert into Photoshop, which most people have. Uh, it's more accessible and more used by um, our crafting community than InDesign is. So I want to give you a quick uh, tutorial on this as well, because my template does come with the different formats. Uh, so I have already inserted one here, and the next one is just going to go from left to right. This is where you want to have your window open. So what you want to do is you want to have the rectangle, the pink rectangle selected, and they're down here in order in the uh, in the layers panel. So just make sure that the next one in order is selected. And then you're going to just select from your finder and you're going to just drag it anywhere onto your Photoshop um, artboard, I guess is what it's called. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is hit enter or return because that basically places the image. If it's easier for you to make it a little smaller so that um, things just feel better for you. Sometimes that's okay to do. You're welcome to kind of make things smaller, but what we're going to do here is just make sure some part of the image is on top of uh, the square that we're going to be working in. And then we just make sure that this 
image is selected now and on a Mac, you're going to go option command G. And what it does is it masks that image directly into this uh, rectangle only. And then from here you have some guides and you can resize the image and it will never overlap onto anything other than just that rectangle. And it may not always be the exact ratio, but that's okay. If you cut off a little hair uh, of the side or the top or the bottom, it's really not going to mess with your, your photo at all. So again, the next the next thing would be select the next rectangle. So you're on rectangle three. And again, you just follow that same process. You are going to place the photo. You can resize it first if you'd like, or you can resize it after. For me, it just makes it a little easier knowing that I can see some of the other squares so that I, I'm not like working with this gigantic uh, photo. Command option G. Oh, sorry. Didn't, didn't place it again. Command option G and then I can place it where I want it. And what I like about this um, option as well is that you can change the the location of your frame. You can change your framing. So you could maybe even, well, it wouldn't work that way, but you could kind of like cut, cut something off in half if you wanted to. Um, it just gives you a little bit of flexibility and I really like that and then enter again and it will just place it right there for you. And then after I get all of these filled in, again, I save, I would save everything uh, as a PDF, but with Photoshop, you'll be able to only do one page at a time. InDesign allows continuous pages, but Photoshop only allows one page at a time. So just when you've filled this template up, you're going to save as a PDF and then, you, or you can print directly from here, that's up to you, or you can save it as an image, again, completely up to you. And then you would come back to the template, remove all of your photos. And the easiest way for me to do that is to come over here back to the layers panel and select one photo. And then you're going to select, you're going to press down command or it might be control on a Mac. And you're just going to select all of the images and then you can just delete them. And that way you don't mess with any of the other things and you don't have to click around on the page in order to um, select them individually. So I hope that that helps. This has uh, been such a fun new format for me. And I know that a lot of you girls have picked up my template and I really appreciate it. I am going to have a version two, kind of an updated version coming out soon. Uh, it'll be after this tutorial uh, comes out, but I hope that this tutorial is helpful for you girls who are maybe struggling a little bit, having a hard time trying to um, figure it out. I just wanted to make sure that... Um, you, you knew how to use it uh, so that you can get the most out of this template and format. And I appreciate everybody who's purchased and is getting on the, um, the memory planning or weekly memory keeping in this style. I just feel like um, getting out of pockets has been super freeing for me and I am loving what all of the girls are doing. So uh, I'm going to leave some links also to some girls on Instagram who are super inspiring in this particular format. And I hope you go give them a follow, or show them some love and uh, let me know in the comments if you are on board for this format or if you're just going to look from afar. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you soon.